Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm Platter Video Series of videos I've been doing for a little while now where I go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, well, folks, if I may say, I'm looking a little bit spiffy. Partially because, unlike in a lot of the videos, especially the ones I do in the truck, I'm actually properly showered up right now. Usually I'm getting off work, so I'm, gro you know, grody and grimy and shit. Then on top of that, folks, what else is making me look extra spiffy? I'm wearing a cool shirt. Folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? Well, it's pretty obvious, but boom! Easy S shirt! Fuck is Easy S. Uh, Easy S is a local Illinois band. Uh, I have actually been friends with these guys for... Mm, decade at least. I don't remember the exact uh, the exact amount of years, but at least a decade now. Uh, all the way back when they were a band called Paragon, and eventually uh, they lost a member, decided to go over there and recoup, became Easy S. I love these guys. I have a whole bunch of videos on this channel of shows of theirs that I've been to. So I love taking videos of shows that I've been to. Yes, I'm that guy. Get fucked if you don't like dealing with it. Um, fuck you, Maynard. Uh, I'm not going to go to a Tool show anytime soon anyway, so... Uh, I like Tool, though. They're, they're fine. I just, I prefer uh, a perfect circle. But anyway. Um, but yeah, I love Easy S. Extremely good dudes. Uh, sadly, at the moment, they don't have any of their music up in, like, an official capacity. They're still kind of, you know, here and there on putting out an album and stuff. But extremely good dudes. Can't say enough good things about them. Uh, if nothing else, look up their stuff with uh, Paragon. Because that stuff is available, and I, I just love them. Anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? What are we doing? Well, if you watch my channel for a while, you know that I've done this whole little extra series <coughs> uh, called the Chicken Sandwich Wars. Not familiar with the Chicken Sandwich Wars. Started off in the 2019 when Popeyes came out with their chicken sandwich. It embroiled this whole thing with uh, oh Chick-fil-A, because of course they're known for their chicken sandwiches. And as time went by, just everybody got involved. Um, everybody had to go over there and have a chicken sandwich variant of their own. Taco Bell, uh, fucking, what was it, uh, Shake Shack, uh, there were, I did never, I don't think it ever became widely available, but Panda Express was gonna have one. It became a whole thing. And I decided to make it my mission to go over there and try out as many of these as possible, give you my two cents. So, what am I trying for y'all today? Boom! It's the Circle K... Homestyle chicken sandwich. I get, at some point, Circle K, the gate, you know convenience store slash gas station brand, decided to throw their hat into the race. Why the fuck not? I guess. Um, I don't go to Circle K a lot. Typically, if I go to Circle K, it's because I want boom one of these Mountain Dew Purple Thunder, which I reviewed twice on this very channel. In case you're interested on my my take, but that's an exclusive item to them. I popped in today because I was on my way to go see some friends. I figured, why the hell not? So, we're going to do this one. This is the original style one. There is a spicy one that I will do for my next review. So, look forward to that for reasons. Now, I've already seen from the little picture they had on it, it's got pickles on it. Which I'm not surprised. Mostly, like, the signature chicken sandwiches have pickles. Whoever, I think that might have been Chick-fil-A. I'm not 100%. Whoever decided the pickles needed to be on it, they can suck my ass. The only one I found where I liked the pickles was uh, Fry the Coop. And that's because they use sweet pickles. It's really good. All right, so here's the sandwich. I'm obviously not going to go over there and think of this in terms of the same way as I think of the other ones because those are from big major offerings. This is a gas station food. It was probably microwaved and what have you. So I'm going to try to be uh, nice to it. But And there you can see the, the accursed pickles in question. There is no sauce. None. It is just pickles. It's also not very crispy, which, again, I'm guessing probably because they, they microwaved it. Which is fine. It's a gas station food. I'm not expecting them to go over there and cook me up a fucking, you know, five-course meal. Let's give it a shot. I'll try it once with the pickles and then most likely discard the pickles because I don't like pickles on chicken sandwiches. The 
funny thing is, because this has clearly been microwaved, the pickles hardly have any flavor. It's there a little bit. You get a twinge of pickly action, but honestly, they're so diluted. I mean, for one thing, they call this, I mean, yeah, they call it a, a home-style chicken sandwich. But on the thing, they, I believe they called it a crispy chicken sandwich. It is not crispy. If, if it's not called that, I do apologize, but it's not crispy at all. Uh, and you can see the chicken quality ain't great. This is a dollar menu chicken sandwich. I paid, I think, three or four dollars for it. Yeah, even, even going over there and lowering the bar, because it is a gas station chicken sandwich, is pretty abysmal. Um, the thing is, I mean, Circle K is a big company. You know, yeah, they're probably not McDonald's or anything like that, but you know, they're not a small little rinky-dink shack either. I really feel like if they were going to go over there and toss their hat into this, I get it. They could have done way better than this. Like, a good for instance is, uh, oh, what is it? Like Thornton's. They go over there, you know, they have somebody whose job it is specifically to make the food. And yeah, they have like the roller stuff and everything like that. But if they have something they need cooked, they actually have like a cook who comes in. They have a little oven that they cook the stuff in. This, if it, and maybe it has been, I think this has been microwaved. If this had been cooked, you know, properly, been given a chance to get a little crispy and stuff, maybe it would have been okay. The problem is, even at its very best, the chicken quality is definitely substandard. And it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, I could try to argue the point and say like, well, you know, if you really want a chicken sandwich, you know, and you're on your way and you stop into a gas station, ah, no, I wouldn't even argue that, honestly. You're... Most likely in a vehicle anyway, since you're at a gas station. I mean, you could be walking. Um, dr drive to a better place. Drive to a better place. You're not going to be paying that much more. If this cost a buck, I'd give it to them. But it doesn't cost a buck. Uh, and with that in mind, yeah, this isn't very good. And like I said, even by gas station food standards, it's just not great. And then on top of that... They are trying to cash in on the whole chicken sandwich wars thing with, oh, they've got the same type of bag and they got pickles on it. No, you're not fucking fooling anybody. This is a super weak ass sandwich. You know it. So, uh, would I recommend it? Not a chance in hell. This is, I try to be very positive in these reviews because I, not only do I, I want them to succeed because I'm going to eat the damn things, but on top of that, I like to go over there and help promote things. That's why part of the reason why I always talk about my, you know, whatever band is on my shirt at the time. I like things to succeed. Um, but at the same time, what am I supposed to say about this? It's most likely microwaved. It's not crispy. Pickles don't have much flavor, which for me kind of works out. But for people who like pickles, it's just not very good or very enjoyable to eat. So. Five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Two pennants rest of your year. And, folks, if you can go there and have yourselves a true chicken sandwich rest of your life. And I'm talking, like, the legit stuff. I'm talking your Popeyes. I'm talking your, you know, your KFCs and such. You know, your Burger King Chick Kings when they were around. They're not around anymore. Now they got the weak-ass ones. I still need to try their new friggin' Italian one. I did their original Italian one as a video on here. If you're interested, go watch that one. That's one of my favorite ones. Uh, but yeah. Um, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when we live in a world with such weak-ass, you know, chicken sandwiches. But... We also have to remember, first and foremost, there are excellent chicken sandwiches out there. So, you know, there's that to look forward to. But even in the world of weak-ass chicken sandwiches, if we run into those situations where we find ourselves stressed and, you know, wanting to show off our asshole a little bit, dial it back a little bit, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. And hopefully, hopefully, things will, you know, work out a little bit better for everybody involved. 
Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're not going to go over there and you're not going to try a Circle K chicken sandwich. And in doing so, you're going to go over there and live a much more prosperous and happy life than I have now that I've done this. Okay, So at the very least, you're beating out this guy in one regard. Probably several. But at least one. Chicken sandwich related. And uh, with that, you know, situation where you haven't gone over there and eaten a very crappy chicken sandwich that you bought at a gas station for way too much money, you're going to go over there and you're going to spend your time learning to play an instrument. The xylophone of all things. And you're just going to xylophone that shit up. You're going to become a world fam famous xylophonist, if that's what that's called. And uh, you'll play Carnegie Hall and all the things. Some WWE wrestler will go over there and use your one of your songs as his opening music. It'll be a whole thing, folks. It's good times. Xylophoning. Or conversely, you could not do that, but hey, maybe go over there and pick up an instrument. Doesn't have to be a xylophone. The zither. Let's just go with weird Z-sounding instruments. Um, you know, but go over there, hey, pick up an instrument. It's always a great creative outlet, and, you know, just, just don't be one of those buttholes that goes over there and, like, has to make it a big public thing all the damn time. Like, it's fine if you want to play publicly. Open mic nights are there for a reason. Don't be the guitar center guy is all I'm saying. Anyway, bye.